Today's topic is on lattices and now we have to prove that De Morgan's laws holds good for a complemented distributive lattice L join meet that is A join meet whole complement is equal to A complement meet B complement and next A meet B whole complement is equal to A complement join B complement here the logic is that so for whole complement this meet this join will become meet and for this whole complement this meet will become join see here a join b complement is turned as individually a complement b complement so here it is join it transformed into meet and here it is meet it transformed into join so this is the simple logic which you have to remember and also given that l is a complemented distributive lattice so what are these de morgan's laws so this is nothing but the de morgan's laws and let's get started see here what is given let l join meet b a complemented b this is complemented distributive So this is a distributive, complemented distributive law and let, so what is given A comma B comma C, so there is no C here, belongs to L here. So now what is it we have to show that since L is a complemented lattice, see here, since what is given, since L is a complemented lattice. It's a complemented lattice. See, according to the complemented lattice, the complements of the complements of A and B exists. The complements of A and B exists. See here, the complements of A as well as B exist. So now let's take the complements. Let the complement of A is equal to A dash. See, let the complement of A A is A dash. The complement of B, see here, the complement of B is b dash what is according to the definition of the complement if it is a complement see here if it's a complement c a join a dash should be equal to the greatest element and a meet a dash should be equal to the least element here and the next one is if a if b is a complement to b dash then b join b dash should be equal to the greatest element and b meet b dash should be equal to the least element see here so these are the conditions if a is a complement to a dash and b is a complement to b dash and now let's get started to prove that so what is it we have to prove that so we have to prove that a join b whole complement is equal to a a complement meet b complement since it is a let uh, it is a complemented lattice now let's get started to find out now consider now consider this one a join b join this is a complement a complement meet this one b complement so I have considered this one see why i have considered this one so we have to prove that a join b complement is equal to a complement meet B complement. So, in order to prove that, so we have to prove that this join is equal to the greatest element 1 and this among these the meet is equal to the least element 0. See, let's get started. Since it is a distributive lattice, since it is a distributive lattice, so see how I, how I write this one. So, A it is distributed to, so A it is distributed to these two and B is also distributed to this one. So, with this I can write as A join B. So, this whole thing it is distributed to this one. That is A join B join A complement. 
and next meet so this is meet and next a join b a join b join this is b dash so a join b is distributed to a dash meet in between there is meet and a join b is distributed to b dash now i used which law this one is distributive law this is a distributive law so according to the distributive law i have shown this one and the next one here is so i am using associative law so this is a join i am transforming these two brackets here that is a join b join a dash and the next one here is meet and in between these i am transforming so this will be a join so this is a join i am transforming that is b join b dash so you got it so this is nothing but associative law so this is nothing but according to the associative law i'm transforming and the next one here is the next step i am using commutative law so that is a join so i'm transforming this one that is a dash join b and here c here so this is a join this is b join b dash now so in this case what i have applied so i have applied com commutative law so this is nothing but a commutative law according to the commutative law i transform this one and the next thing here is so we have see here the next thing i am doing is that is a join of a dash join b meet so this is a join of so this can be written as one see here how since b is a complement to b dash then the join property that is b join b dash is equal to the greatest element so b join b dash is equal to the greatest element i transform this one and the next step here i am going to take is associative law so that is a join a dash join b see here so i have changed these brackets i used this one associative law that is a join 1 so i used here associative law according to the associative law i changed this one see here for the next one since a is a complement to a dash so we have that is a join a complement is equal to the greatest element so in place of this one so i am writing the greatest element join b and here also so a join a join one and see here if you observe properly so what i have transformed since a is a complement to a dash so it is equal to the greatest element and now see this one this is one join b meet this is a join one since one is the greatest element so one is the greatest element for one join b again one comes and since one is the greatest element one join a join one is again one so one meet one is again one so we got from where we have started so we have started from this point so that is so we have started from this point as a meet so a join b join this is a complement meet b complement so this value we got as one see please remember so we got this value as one so this is equation number one and the next thing which we have to consider the same thing which we have to consider the meet and it should be equal to the least element zero see here again i am considering see here the same thing a join b so this is a join b meet this is a complement meet b complement see here meet so i have to show that these two are complemented to each other so i am starting with this so the step here i am taking is so in this case also so distributive law I have to use so a is distributed to see here this a is distributed to this one and b is distributed to this one the first step i am making as this is a meet so this is a meet what is this one a complement meet b complement next join 
and again B is distributed to this one. So that is B meet this one A meet A complement meet B complement. See got it? So which law I have used? Distributive law. So this is distributed. What is distributed? A is distributed as well as B is distributed law. So this is a distributed law. And the next thing is I am using associative law. So I have to interchange these brackets. See here how I interchange. That is A meet A dash. This is meet B dash. Join. So here also. Here also what I can do this. See this can be written as that is B meet of. So this is B meet of. Now I am using this one commutative law. So here the, in the next step I will use. So, which one I have used? I have used here associative law. So, this is nothing but associative law. So, this is according to the associative law. And next coming to this, since we have A is complement to A dash, therefore A meet A dash is equal to the least element here. So, I am transforming this as, see here, this is the least element 0 to B dash, join See here, this one, I am transforming this as B dash. So, this is meet A dash. See here, which property I have used? Commutative law. So, I used here as a commutative law. Got it? This is nothing but the commutative law. So, after that one, associative law I will use. See here, so this is nothing but 0 meet B dash is equal to. See here, now I am using this associative law so this is a meet b dash and again this is meet a complement which property it is associative law according to the associative law i use this one so since b is a complement to b dash so b meet b dash is equal to the least element zero now i am interchanging this one that is zero meet b dash so this is join so B meet B dash is nothing but the least element 0 meet A dash. Since 0 is the least element, so 0 meet B dash is again the least element. And here 0 is the least element, 0 meet A dash will be the least element. So which is equal to 0. So we got this value. So which value have considered? See here that is this one A join B, A join B meet this is a complement meet b complement value is equal to the zero which is the least element see here if you observe these two equations a and b so a and b that is a join b join a complement meet b complement value is the greatest element and next one a join b meet a complement intersection sorry so meet b <coughs> b complement is equal to zero from these these two properties see what you can conclude from equation a from a and b equations see from a and b from a and b equations what is a equations that is a join b join a complement meet b complement is equal to the greatest element and from the b point here so what is b mark a join b this is meet a complement meet B complement is equal to the least element. From these two, we say that. So, from these two, we say that the complement of A join B is equal to A complement meet B complement. Therefore, therefore, what we can conclude that is A join B whole complement. Complement is equal to A complement B. A complement meet B complement. See, we got the thing which we, it is asked. That is the De Morgan's law. Next, by principle of duality. See here, by the principle. So, which principle it is? By the principle of duality. So, we have, by the principle of duality, we can interchange. Interchange join to meet and meet to join. Therefore, a meet B whole complement is equal to A complement join. This is B complement. So, from 1 and 2. Therefore, from 1 and 2, 
a join c here this is a join b whole complement is equal to a complement meet b complement and a meet b complement is equal to a complement join b complement so these are which one de morgan's laws so which velocities so these are the de morgan's laws so de morgan laws holds good for a complemented distributive lattice l see here so let me explain you once again see here it's so easy to understand so it is given that l is a complemented distributive lattice so we have to show that a join b complement is equal to a complement meet b complement and a meet b complement is equal to a complement join b complement c l is a complemented distributive lattice and i have taken a b so a b are enough a b belongs to l since l is a complemented lattice the complements of a and b exist let us consider the complement of a is equal to a dash and complement of b is equal to b dash since it is a complement according to the property a join a dash is equal to 1 and a meet a dash is equal to 0 and here a join b dash is equal to 1 and b meet b dash is equal to 0 so according to the definition of the complemented lattice and now we have to prove that a join b whole complement is equal to this one so for that i am considered the join join for these two and i have to prove that it is the greatest element one and i have to consider the meet of these two and i have to prove that it is the least element zero so for that i have chosen see here a join b complement so so we have to sh show that it's a complement therefore a join b join a complement meet b complement for that so i have used distributive law associative law commutative law this property associative law and i have i have shown you clearly how i have transformed and finally i got the answer as one and the next one again i took the meet of these two and again i have proved the value here is zero so it is very clear from one and two equations we got the join as the greatest element and meet of these two as the least element therefore we can easily conclude that a join b complement is equal to a complement meet b complement this is what it was asked to show that and according to the principle of duality we can interchange meet as join and join as meet and similarly so here we we, fi we find uh, join and i'm transforming into meet and here it is a meet and we are transforming into join so these are the de morgan's laws therefore if l is a complemented distributive lattice the de morgan laws holds good and this is what it was asked in the textbook and it is also so so important please do follow practice and it's very easy if you don't understand this video for one time go through for the next time and if you really like please leave a comment raise your thumb and share it with your friends thank you so much